Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richard Plunger here from the Puppet and Geek, and today, guys, we're going to talk about some of the features of the new PlayStation 3.5 system update, which is out today. So go out and update your PlayStation 4 because it's packed full of features. Now, as the title suggests, we're talking about remote play on the PC and Mac, something I think a lot of PlayStation users have been waiting for a very long time. Now, the main thing which you're here for is remote play on your PC and Mac. Now, obviously, Xbox has had this for quite some time now, and I think is a huge thing. Thing, um, you know, for Xbox, Sony has actually had this as well, but only exclusive to Sony mobile devices and obviously the Vita as well. But I think it's obviously time that they've moved on and made it available for the PC and Mac. It's really great as well that it's on the Mac as well, um, because I think that's something that they, sh they should freely make available to everyone, and um, which they have. So obviously, it's available for the Windows 8.1, Windows 10 or later, and OX OS X. 10.10 or 10.11 now you have to remember the resolution options can only be up to 360p 540p and 720p now the default is 540p now obviously we're not going to be playing at 1080p across uh, the internet um, it's just not possible at this moment especially with the internet speeds and all that stuff you want to have you know having it at 540p is actually not too bad just to have the capabilities to actually remote play now frame rate is set to the standard 30 frames per second but you can actually set it to 60 frames as well now what makes it also really good is that you can actually use one DualShock 4 as a controller for remote play which needs to be connected to your PC slash Mac via USB cable now hopefully down the track they might make it available so you can actually use it via Bluetooth I know the Sony mobile devices and tablets you can actually connect via Bluetooth so I don't see why not like why they can't actually make it on your PC or Mac. I think if they make it through Bluetooth, it's going to make it so much easier, but I'm sure it's a software thing uh, and just having that easily available. So once you've updated your PlayStation 4, what you want to do is head over to this website here, remoteplay.dl. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can actually download the software for your PC or Mac. Okay, so here we are in Far Cry. As you can see, it's actually... I'm running around if I think the real difference is actually going to be it feels really responsive but I think the real difference is actually going to be when playing like competitive gaming like Call of Duty or first person shooter games um, at the moment I you know I'm just moving around so let's see if I can because it does feel a like maybe a millisecond of some sort yeah he has no clue what's happening Oh, shit. Okay, here's a good test. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Is that a bird? Oh. So about after five minutes of remote play, I would say there isn't actually no lag at all. Probably more or less a frame rate issue. As you can see, a bit of tearing across the screen. Now, could that be my internet connection? Could that be some other stuff? Possibly. Oh, shit. Now, what you can actually notice right here instantly is actually the color difference. Now, up above, you can actually see the Elgato, what that's capturing, and right below is the PS4 remote play. The color is actually looks a lot more, like, you know, desaturated as opposed to the Elgato, which looks really vibrant. Now... Is that going to be a big concern to most people who are actually using remote play? Probably not. I mean, if you really wanted to play for the quality and, you know, the, you know, the nice smoothness, you'd probably be playing it on a TV connected to your PS4. However, for remote play, I'm actually really interested to see... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a bit... Now, the thing is what I'm actually most interested in is to see what kind of people who will be actually using remote play now if you're the type of person who will be using remote play leave a comment down below because i'm actually really interested to know what you'll be actually playing this on will you be playing it on your mac or pc will you be playing it on um you know your tv in another room um it's something that i'm actually really interested in to see how that works 
anyways, before this video actually ends up being like, you know, 10 times longer than I actually wanted it to be, um, leave a comment down below on what you think about Remote Play, have you used it, and what are your thoughts so far on it. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.